avoidance and evasion are two different things. You are allowed to arrange your affairs in a way that you avoid paying unnecessary tax. Um, so, for example, uh, tax is triggered on income once it is um, unconditionally, you have an unconditional entitlement to it and it can be calculated or ascertained as a monetary value. If you employ me and I know that I want to make, uh, and you're going to pay me um, 100,000 rand, and I know that I'm going to want to make 20,000 available for a acceptable charity. I could, before that money accrues to me as an income, I can enter into a sacrifice arrangement and say to you, um, I do not want to um, have that money accrue to me. You can make that money available um, as a donation towards a, a charity. Uh, so there are many ways that you can do to minimize your tax arrangements. Um, some companies may rent as opposed to buy a machinery because rental, uh, uh, um, rental uh, payments are deductible for tax purposes. So there are many other ways that you can do. That's avoiding paying unnecessary tax. Evasion is breaking the law. Now, to your other question, when you are a salary earner, earning no other income, you generally have no legal room to manipulate your taxes because you earn a simple salary, um, your payroll administrator determines how much tax should be deducted, um, they pay the money and transfer to SARS, it doesn't even end up in your bank account. And so there's very little opportunity for about 5 million of the, uh, of the 8 million income earners. There's about for, for, for just over 5 million of them, there's been little opportunity to fiddle with that. The people who can fiddle are people who are wealthy, people who have other forms of income from business activities, from investments, from overseas assets. Um, they can create trusts, they can create companies. Um, and so there's lots of ways for structuring the arrangements in a way that which they are entitled to to minimize their, their 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 income or their tax liability, but many of them then also cross the line from avoidance to evasion, and those are the ones that clearly, when we detect them, uh, we will follow that up and when necessary uh, prosecute.